Two things that, uh, one I expected to be the case, the other one I had no idea would be the case. Um, n no irony that I'm wearing a Fujifilm shirt while uh, shooting a Sony camera, right? Um, everybody said that the battery life on the uh, a7 III is uh, really, really good, and I'd actually say that it's better than that. Um, I'm actually extremely impressed by the battery life on uh, the a7 III. I've actually had it on much of the time as I was thinking about uh, little tests to do. Actually, I just got done spending the past 20 minutes chasing a bunch of bunny rabbits around the garden taking pictures of them, testing out to continuous autofocus. So point one, battery life is incredible on the a7 III. Point two, which I didn't think, I thought it would be improved from the Sony a9 where I was not impressed at all with focus peaking. But focus peaking, and this is gonna sound subjective and opinionated, but empirically so, I mean, the focus peaking on the, uh, the Sony a7 III, it, it's absolutely horrible. Peaking, peaking is horrible. It's a horrible experience. Not only is it jumpy, it actually shows too much, which is the exact same thing I experienced with the Sony A9. I thought, you know, the Sony really, I mean, all these years, they would have had uh, focus peaking uh, perfected, and I was actually shocked with the Sony A9. I thought, well, maybe they perfect it, you know, here a year and a half or so later, but it's horrible. Compared to Fuji, I mean, I actually, and I mean this, not as someone who doesn't like Sony, which I don't, which is uh, certainly no shocker to anybody, but the focus peaking on the uh, Sony A9, I mean, excuse me, Sony A9, the Sony uh, A7 III here is absolutely horrible relative to Fujifilm. Um, I think a lot of people that have, at all even think about praising the peaking on the uh, Sony systems have never even used the Fuji. Um, it, it's absolutely deplorable. Um, the jumpiness, the fact that it was uh, too broad at f2.8, where it should have been. I mean, I'm familiar with using the 16 to 55 equivalent, which is the same thing as the 2470 2.8, or even uh, 2470 range at uh, f5.6, which I also tested, and the range is too broad. In other words, it's. Uh, it's kind of like, a, let's say, shooting a shotgun with a crooked barrel. You know, you're going to miss, which is a really good analogy. So I actually find that shocking that it is so bad on the, uh, the Sony a7 III, the peaking is. Oh yeah, but the battery life is exquisite. So I shot a few hundred shots. I'm going to continue to test the piss out of it, do a bunch of uh, low-light uh, test shots later tonight and cross comparators between 2470. Uh, Equiv on the Fuji and uh, Real 2470 on the Nikon uh, D850, since both of those are BSI sensors. A7 III is BSI and the Nikon D850 is BSI, so... Anyway, back to shooting before the sun sets on me, which is a couple hours from now.